the issue is solely the issue of FCDA, because this structure belongs to FCDA. I have read it in the net that people that still are trying to take the National Assembly to court for what? I don't understand. Because the National Assembly complex belongs to FCDA. The main responsibility of the FCDA, of the leadership of the Senate or House of Representatives, is to inform Mr. President that this structure is in the state of collapse, collapse, collapse. So Mr. President, it is left for Mr. President of the Executive now to tell the owners of the National Assembly complex to send their technical officers the architecture, the building in the engine to find out which area and what area and what attention they need in the National Assembly. How they come about the 37 billion is not the issue of the National Assembly. It's purely the issue of the FCDA. And let me tell the general public, it is the FCDA that are going to award the contract. And 10 COBO of this 37 million billion is not coming to the National Assembly account. It's going straight to the FCDA. So if they said they should, they should not renovate it, so be it. Our prayer is that the day the structure will collapse, it should not take anybody's life. The concern is because the National Assembly approved it. It was in the budget, and the National Assembly had the leeway not to approve it. The National Assembly approved the budget ju just like we approve other budgets. We approve construction of road from Lagos to Ibadan. We approve construction of road from Inigo to Oware. We approve the construction of road from Abuja to, to Makodi. It's not it's the same. The sole responsibility of the National Assembly is to approve budget for the executive arm of government to implement. So this one is not different.